going to have a keyboard group now, and they are going to play We Three Kings. And this is my youngest um, keyboard group, and um, this song is about We Three Kings. And unfortunately, I only got one king, but we have three princesses instead. children. <laughs> the next item is a, a duet um, by two boys, Mary Tyler. <laughs> then uh, Matthew Tylers and Oliver Smith. They're going to play O Come, O Come Emmanuel and O Little Town of Bethlehem.
Thank you, boys. Now we have Tara Gore, and I'm going to play Silent Night. We're going to sing um, a carol now, uh, once in Royal David City. And David Pert, the other teacher involved, is going to play the piano for us. to just sing the, the uh, words at the back of your um, leaflet. Come on. <laughs> Second verse. Another keyboard group now, and they're going to play 
the first Noel. It is Matthew Atkinson, Oliver Smith, Anushka Sinha, and Olivia Robinson. Right, where is Manon? We are going to play um, a Welsh song called Now We Sing Melody. Now we are going to um, uh, sing Away in a Manger, and I have now got two little people to help us to do this. Um, Neve Gardner is going to play uh, Away in a Manger by herself, and then we have little Ashmid um, going to sing the first verse of um, Away in a Manger by himself, and then I want everybody to join in with the second and third verse.
Word of away in a manger is so lovely. A lot of composer wants to write tunes for it, and we are going. The keyboard group is going to play away in a manger, but to a different tune. We have Katie Touchhill, Jessica Page, Olivia Camareri, and Elena Picker um, Bora. Now we have Erin um, Perkins is going to uh, play with her teacher, We Three Kings.
Erin. Erin is um, only just started learning piano. She hasn't had 10 weeks yet, so well done. Now we have uh, Lalina um, Matthews going to play um, the rainbow with me. Now we're going to have Gwen Cook. Um, Gwen is going to play one of her own composition. And it's so new that she doesn't even know what to call it. Uh, so you listen to Gwen and you see what comes into your head. And afterward, you could come and tell Gwen what sh should she call it.
Wow, thank you, Gwen. <laughs> right, next is Owen Locke, um, um, and Anne Schingler, her t his teacher, is going to play Frosty the Snowman. Thank you. And now, Abby Williams um, and Anne Schingler is going to play Dance of the Sugar Pump Fairy. We are all going to sing now, uh, Mary's Boy's Child.
two little girls playing. Uh, Santa's Claw is coming to town. Mia Greenwood and Charlotte Quack.
get the bowing right, but it doesn't matter. Right, we are um, going to have next um, Abby Majors and Molly Evans. They're going to play Winter Wonderland. They are duet partners. <laughs>
we are going to hear Gwen Cook and her sister uh, play a duet. And this is again composed by Gwen Cook.
baritone was supposed to be a David organ. And um, he left the building. He was an adult pupil, and I think he, he got scared. So we decided that the two teachers is going to play the 12th day of Christmas instead. And Shingla and David Hurt. And if anybody fancies singing along and counting down all the 12 days of the Christmas, carry on. snow.
you very much. I'm going to ask um, my friend Andy Christofides going to come and just talk us five minutes about the real meaning of Christmas. Thank you, Mary. This has been a fantastic time. I've been upon the gallery listening to these fantastic uh, musical items you've been doing. And uh, my favourite, I think, was Away in a Manger. The, uh, the singing there was fantastic. I'll uh, always remember that particular little song that you, uh, you gave for us. But um, Christmas time, really, a music that will very much together. Uh, Handel's Messiah, uh, the carols. Look at the Christmas adverts that the uh, big companies put out. My favourite this year is uh, not advertising here, but it is John Lewis and uh, Monty the Penguin and the great time he has with that little boy. The little boy takes Monty everywhere. Monty's going ice skating uh, on, on the snow. Uh, he's feeding the little penguin. Uh, he's going everywhere with him. But uh, there's something missing for Monty. He looks around and everyone seems to have a life partner and uh, he has only got this little boy. And uh, the boy twigs this, and on Christmas morning, of course, Monty gets his heart's desire, and it turns out to be Mabel the penguin. And uh, Monty's life, it seems, is complete. Something was missing, and then uh, along comes Mabel and uh, makes his life complete. But I think that's true of all of us. There always seems to be something missing. We're, we're restless people, and we hope uh, the next big thing is going to really give us that deep satisfaction. But the Rolling Stone said, you know, I've tried and I've tried and I've tried, but I can't get no satisfaction. Where, where do we find this real uh, missing piece we're looking for? It certainly doesn't seem to be possessions. Uh, people generally think, if only I had a little bit more, then I'd be happy. We get a little bit more, and what do we need? A little bit more. And it's not uh, position, it's not power. Either Some of the most miserable people are the rich leaders in, in the country. You know, where do we really find true contentment? I, I think there's a clue in what we're doing here. Uh, we're out this afternoon. And um, the best things in life are relationships. You know, what we really need are good relationships. A good husband, where do you find one? A good wife, well, I, I found one. Uh, parents and children and grandchildren, good work colleagues and, and neighbours. But what the angel says to the shepherds on that first Christmas morning, I've got some good news, he says, it'll bring you great joy. And it's for all the people everywhere, including those on the Glamber stage in uh, the 14th of December 2014, because, says the angel, a saviour's been born. He's Christ the Lord. Astonishing message. Uh, God becomes one of us. Not God the Father, not God the Spirit. God the Son leaves heaven and becomes a man. Doesn't stop being God. He's the God-man. Why has he come? He's come to take away our biggest problem. See, there's a gap between us and the God who is there. It's caused by the mess that we have made. But God sent his son to put it right. And Jesus lived a perfect life. He died on our behalf. He rose again from the dead. He ascended back to heaven. Mission accomplished. Oh, says the angel, this message will bring, if you grasp it, great joy. It's not just for the shepherds. It's for all people, all places, all times. Uh, embrace him. Uh, get to know him uh, better. So, I hope you have a wonderful Christmas time, but don't forget the real heart of, of Christmas. It's not Monty and Mabel, it's uh, the child who was born in Bethlehem of Judea in the time of Herod the King. So, back on now with the final part of the concert. Thank you, Mary. Oh, just to say, uh, you have been given a leaflet about a concert here tomorrow night, which I'm involved with. A number of churches getting together, and it's the traditional nine lessons and carols uh, here on the stage uh, massed choirs singing and uh, a message from the minister at Highfields Church, uh, David Gobbett. That's tomorrow at 7 o'clock here at the Glamber stage. Thank you, Mary. Thank you. Now we're going to um, uh, have Ashmid Saha uh, going to play Jingle Bell with me.
think you don't mind to hear Frosty the Snowman again. This is by um, Oliver Smith and Matthew Atkinson. Our last item and keyboard group is going to play up upon the housetop and it's about Father Christmas being on the housetop. I hope he's going to come this year for you all. Come on then, children, where are they? They forgot to bow in. <laughs> okay, right. We're gonna. Uh, everybody gonna sing my favorite carol in the bleak midwinter.
that's it. Thank you everyone for coming to support us and we hope to see you next year.